Hi, I'm Bob Savage, principal of Cedar Cliff High School in Camp Hill. The Cedar Cliff Science Olympiad team recently competed at Millersville University against 25 teams. The team proved competitive and walked away with second place medals in chemistry, third place in forensics, and earned a gold medal in ecology. Good luck to both teams. Back to you, Rich. Thank you, Mr. Savage, and thank you for staying with us. What's turning out to be a very competitive match between Cumberland Valley and Cedarcliff for the semifinals. But before the action resumes, here's a chance for you to play along with our Pashy Pop quiz. The Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education is the largest provider of higher education in the Commonwealth. There are 14 great universities that make up Pashy, or the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. Let's head over to one of those great schools, Kutztown, for today's question. This Academy Award nominated film starring Thora Birch and Scarlett Johansson is based on the graphic novel of the same name by Chicago born cartoon artist and writer Daniel Klaus. Name the film. Now if you know the question or would like to see it again, here's what you need to do. Go online to WGAL.com slash brain busters to answer this question and have a chance to win this super soft chenille blanket embroidered with a capital blue cross logo. It's simply perfect for staying warm on chilly nights. Whether you take it with you to a football game or use it while watching Brain Busters from the comfort of your couch, this blanket has you covered. Plus, you can email me with any questions or comments about the show. All right, let's get back into this game. 220 to 240, but everything can change right now with today's bonus Brain Buster. During our break, our teams wager from 0 to 50 points based on their knowledge of maybe not the most popular uh, topic with teenagers, classical music. Jerry Gish, News 8's Jerry Gish has the an a question. Let's go to Jerry in the newsroom. Jerry? Thanks, Rich. Here's your bonus brain buster for today. In the middle of Haydn's 94th Symphony, the orchestra plays one sudden loud chord, perhaps to see if anyone's asleep. What nickname has been given to Haydn's 94th? Again, in the middle of Haydn's 94th Symphony, the orchestra plays one sudden loud chord, perhaps to see if anyone's asleep. What nickname has been given to Haydn's 94th? Good luck with your answer. Now let's go back to Studio A. Rich. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, we'll give you about five seconds, teams. Some decision making going on with Cumberland Valley, but Cedar Cliff was very confident in their response. All right, time is up. Michael, I'm going to let you finish writing. All set. Okay, we always start with this side of the set. Michael, if you could please show me your response. The Surprise, Surprise Symphony, you are absolutely correct. That is right. 30 points is going to be added to your score, taking you to 270. Joseph, it's up to you. The Surprise Symphony, 40-point wager, 260. 270 to 260. Who's, who, who are we going to see at Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts on Tuesday, May 26th? Well, we're going to find out in just a few moments as we play today's Keystone Health Final Frenzy, 20-point questions. If you received a Messier catalog in the mail, what would you expect to find? Joseph. Music. No, sorry. Incorrect. Cumberland Valley. Adam. Clothing. No, stars is what you'd expect to find. It declared its independence from Serbia on February 17, 2008. What is this new republic, Joseph? Montenegro. No, sorry. Incorrect. John. Kosovo. Kosovo is correct. It is the only one of Shakespeare's plays for which there is no known source. What, Michael? The Tempest. The Tempest is this magical place set on an enchanted island. There are seven major ones, including the Eurasian, North American, and Pacific. Michael. Plates. Plates is correct. His red Fokker triplane gave him his nickname, the Red Bear. Aaron, Michael again. Ooh, um. Ooh, sorry, we're going to take that as an incorrect response. Who was this German ace who shot down 80 Allied planes in World War I, Cedarcliff? Uh, we stumped you on Manfred Richthofen. In 1917, Wilson named him commander of the American Expeditionary Force. Frank. Pershing. Pershing, yes. New York City is a complex assortment of islands and parts of islands. In fact, New York's five bureaus, uh, only, boroughs, only one of them is on the mainland. Which one, Joseph? Bronx. The Bronx, yes. And multiplication, it holds that the quantity A times B times C is equal to A times the quantity of B times C. What is this law, Adam? The communicative. Problem. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is this law of mathematics called, Joseph? Associative property. The associative property, yes. His most famous models include his neighbors Christina Olsen and Helga Testorf. What popular American artist painted Christina's world and the Helga paintings? Andrew. Warhol? No, sorry, incorrect. Uh, Cumberland Valley. 
I just recently passed away. Andrew Wyeth, April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land. What is this depressing title of the depressing poem by T.S. Eliot that begins with these depressing lines? Tim. The Wasteland. The Wasteland is correct. It's the amendment to the Constitution that talks of due process and equal protection under the law. Frank. The 14th Amendment. The 14th is absolutely correct. They were fought first against Muslims, then Jews, Russian, and Greek Orthodox Christians. Hemish. The Crusades. The Crusades, yes. The planet Saturn has its famous rings divided by bands of space. What are these gaps in the rings called? Michael. Galilean belts. Nope. Incorrect. Sorry. Cedar Cliff. They're called Cassini divisions. Henrik, uh, Henrik Ibsen wrote his most famous plays, Ghosts, A Dollhouse, and Hedda Gabler, after he left his native country to live throughout Europe. To what country did Ibsen return, Adam? Sweden. No, sorry. In 1891, where did he return, Cedar Cliff? Andrew. Austria? No, it was Norway. This 1813 battle, the largest ever fought before the 20th century, is sometimes called the Battle of the Nations. Near what German city was Napoleon defeated? Frank. Waterloo. No, sorry, incorrect. Cumberland Valley, John. Leipzig. Leipzig is correct. This German artist was the first to design, print, and publish his own books, illustrated with his own engravings. Frank. Gutenberg. No, sorry. Signed with the initials AD, and it was Durer. Well, that sound takes us to the end of the round and to the end of the game. We're going to review the scores, but it looks like Cumberland Valley is going to come to the finals. We hope to see you in just a moment or two. Wow. That was the way the game is played. What a semifinal match. Congratulations to both teams. We're going to say goodbye to Cedar Cliff, but undoubtedly, they earned the privilege of being here today. Congratulations, Cumberland Valley. We're going to see them when Brainbusters goes prime time. That's Tuesday, May 26th, in just 10 days at 7 o'clock p.m., live from Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. Now, at that time, we're going to present a whole load of prizes because one of the teams is going to walk away with $5,000 in scholarship money to one of the 14 universities universities that make up the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, a generous cash scholarship from Capital Blue Cross, and Capital Blue Cross, our corporate sponsor, will give away literally thousands of dollars worth of prizes to each of the team members as well as many of their lucky peers. Now coming up next is Governor Mifflin and Lancaster Country Day. Who are they going to meet at Whitaker? Well, we're going to find out in just a moment or two. We'll see you then. So long. Get instant weather and news information on your cell phone with WGAL 8 Mobile. It's a convenient way to get live Super Doppler 8 radar, current conditions, and severe weather alerts. Breaking news alerts, school delays, and cancellations. It's free, so sign up today. Go to WGAL.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, and click on mobile. Get weather and news alerts, plus school delays and cancellations on your cell phone. WGAL 8 Mobile. It's another valuable resource from News 8. Brought to you by Paul Davis Restoration and Remodeling. We're cooking, baking, and inventing. Next, all new Martha. Coverage you can count on continues with a 24-hour news update from News 8. And I'm meteorologist Matt Ritter from the News 8 Storm Team. We're going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing today. Most of us will be seeing them uh, during the afternoon. The late afternoon and evening hours could be some gusty winds, brief heavy downpours as we get up to around 80 degrees.